and oh boy this is an amazing update that we are having here so the guys that are at sebas visual so i think that's how it's pronounced sebas visual technology they have actually created an open beta program for their renderer that is known as final renderer and this renderer for maya is now open for you to go ahead and test it out and it has a couple of key features that you can find when you go to their page links is going to be in the description so you will know how to go around and find it this update is kind of quick so i'm going to just go right in and explain to you how you can go and you know get your hands on this stuff and play with it so by default it supports maya light and also maya cameras as well so how you get this stuff is you go over to the website i'm going to put the links in the description and then you will be able to uh, join the open beta program by clicking on download and you will be required to enter your email and once you do enter your email they will send you an email and there will be a link there and automatically you'll be able to download this file there is just a couple of things that would blow your mind for something that is still in its beta and you know seeing that these things really work without it crashing is just something that would give you a lot of joy so these are a couple of things that the shaders that it has can do and i don't really think i've seen a program with so much splitted shaders but then we'll talk about those things later when we do a proper review of the renderer so what are we looking at once you get this thing downloaded you would need to plug this directly into maya and how you can do that is quite simple you go over to the windows and you go to your settings slash preference plugin manager and scroll all the way down till you find a uh, final renderer that would only work when you're done installing the app or when you're done installing the final renderer and you can click on loaded and auto load and automatically by default it will be the renderer that your pc would use i mean or that maya would use when you're about to render so if you come through you can just simply change it to final renderer and that's about it it only has one tab and under that tab it has a ton of uh sub tabs i think about six of them so we can see them from here six of them and this is where the entire magic happens if you want to see the shaders the shaders you can find them under the hyper shade and you can see that these shaders go all the way from building to surface to geometry generic light uh general exposure so on and so forth you really really enjoy this if you can give yourself some time to go ahead and try out this renderer so what have i done here i have a scene just a very quick scene because i really wanted to test this out before i get it out for you guys uh, i have a quick scene here that you can see that within this part i just have a default plane then i have a clot okay so i'm just gonna play this backwards so i have a clot and i just decided to simulate this clot directly on the plane like this okay so simulating this clot on the plane is just uh something i just decided to do so i will be able to test out this this you see right here makes you remember redshift okay so this makes you remember redshift especially when you haven't turned on the gi so what i have here is something that rendered real quick without turning on the gi then i decided to turn on the gi and we have something like this and you can see the timestamp as well and we i decided to add a physical sky and then from there i decided to add tone shading and something like this this is incredibly nice i'm going to do a much more detailed walk through or detailed review about this later in the future so keep an eye for this i think this is something you should lay your hands on if you're using maya and play around with it number one it's free number two it has basically most of the shaders you would want to use if you're tired and fed up of arnold and you want to try something new or maybe you're thinking of uh, moving to another renderer then maybe this might just be it for you so i'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share with your friends and if you're new here you can hit that subscribe button and also turn on notification so once i upload a new video you will be the first to know and until i see you guys next time with a tutorial review rant updates tips and tricks peace